Hi everybody, uh, this is one of my few videos I have on YouTube, but hopefully this helps. This is a belt light and a um, belt replacement for a Kawasaki Brute Force. Even though I've already done them, I can show you what I did to hopefully help you guys with your problems if you have any. First of all, this clip up here has this right here. You have to undo that, and then you have to take this off. Then completely take this rubber and it'll flop up and then once you're done that then you start taking the bolts off. First you got to start with that one right there and then you have to go to this one. Then there's one behind here now if you can see it it's right back there and then there's two underneath here right there You can see that, and there's one behind the brake pedal. You can see it there, but to get to it, you have to put the brake pedal down. Then there's this one, pretty easy to get at. You just have to watch out for your little wire there for your brake. And while you're at it, might as well check your U joints because they're there too. Then there's that one, if it, I haven't showed you that, and that one right up there. Then once you're done that, then you have to slide it out, and then to get it out though you have to push down the brake, and if, if it's the first time you're going to have a pain in the ass, um, you have to use a rubber mallet, hit this, and all over the place just so it gets that first seal off. Then once you're done there, um, I have it all bolted up since I already replaced mine and here's my old belt right here um, yeah it doesn't look that bad but I guess it is and uh, so once you put it up you realize the belt goes like this around there so here's the primary clutch secondary clutch some people take the primary clutch off to make it easier um, I just twisted mine off uh, you just got a three quarter inch socket I think and then have a screwdriver where your belt is, flop that over your, your secondary clutch and as you're turning it then you just keep it over there and it will pop off at some point. Once you're done that and you have your new belt in place um, you're gonna have to look at the belt and see where it says Kawasaki. Um, once I get light have it set up here. Okay so it has Kawasaki here Kawasaki. Okay, so then that shows this is an arrow right here, but um, it's kind of worn out. But you have to make sure it's pointing. When you put it on, you make sure you can read Kawasaki and that the arrow is pointing right, because then you'll be putting it on the right way. Um, probably wouldn't want to do it the wrong way. A lot, don't know what else could happen, but yeah. Um, then you just redo everything. I took this off not knowing um, that you didn't have to, but you don't have to take that off. Um, it's just sitting there. Uh, it's just a really long cord that's also connected to it. Um, yeah, that's your belt light or belt replacement for a Kawasaki. I think that's the same with the 750, uh, 652 because there's one right here. Um, what else? I guess I can do the belt light. Um, I don't know what it's called, but to, ah, resetting the belt light. Take off the seat. Once you're done that, I can't even focus in. Anyways, once you take off the belt light, turn your you turn your key on. Mine's not on right now, but if it is, then. The belt light will be on when your belt light needs to be reset. So, I haven't seen many of these videos on YouTube, so I thought, hell, I might as well do one of my own. Um, so, belt light on, say, turn the key off. Some bikes are different, but my bike, um, you have this. This is the... Okay, let me put it down. Maybe I can show you like that. 
Here, maybe. God damn it. I know, right here. Since I don't really need... You know what, I'm just gonna have it on my neck. Okay, so... See this gray one right here? It's basically like a trip wire, so you can reset it. This is uh, the the belt light reset, CVT, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, you unconnect this one and then pull it apart. This is basically just a wire since it's connected right there. Unconnect the gray part, connect the gray to the black, and just leave the black sitting there. Then you're going to want to turn on your key again. Your belt light will be blinking very fast, I believe. Let it sit for about five seconds, then turn your key off. So far, you're doing good. And there's my CVT sound. Okay, I guess I need some light. Okay, so here are your connections. Hopefully, that's clear enough. <laughs> okay, here's your CVT. You know it's the right cord when it comes from this little box. You have to just feel around, so then there's the wire on the back. Once you get to this point right here, um, unconnect this one, then go back up to your light on your quad. You'll turn it on, and if you did it correctly, this should be blinking really slow. Once it's done blinking, or it won't stop blinking, but once it's blinked for about 5 to 15 seconds, then you can carry on and turn your quad off again. <laughs> then you want to switch this one again. You want to hook that back up. <laughs> then you want to go back here and hook this up. Back to the original gray, gray, black, black. Make sure that's hooked up if I haven't said that already. Um, once this, turn that back on, and your belt light should be exactly what this is right now, off. I hope this helps. Realize there hasn't been many um, on here, on YouTube. Hopefully this is pretty clear, but I don't have that tripod set up. So yeah, I'll just do a quick few pictures, just so any of you need it, it's there. Again, with this part right here, um, not all quads have this stationary. The two. Sometimes theirs are down here. And you gotta remember right here is that one. Where is it? All right, there. And. Some quads do not have this, uh, do not have this uh, little gray one right here, and they will have the black one, but uh, yeah, um, if they don't have this gray one, then those two will be up. Where is that light? Okay, so it's pretty clear right there. If your quad does not have that Kawasaki tool in there, then it will be up in around this area. And your quad on the inside panel. And yeah, hopefully this helps. And comment, rate, subscribe if you want. And let me know if I did an alright for someone who's not very good at this. Alright, see ya.